Hi there guys and welcome to another Crytam photography video and today we're going to be looking at how to change a particular color in your image using Snapseed. So let's jump straight into it. As you can see here I've got a shot of London. Um, it's the River Thames believe it or not. That brown gunky water is not what I wanted in the shot but unfortunately um, this is just due to the pollution and the sand and silt in the water um, that gives off this brown color. So what you want to do is bring up your picture first in Snapseed, which I've done here. I've shot it in RAW, so it's going to be a bit more detailed, but you can do all your edits and things afterwards, which I would highly recommend because you don't know the actual um, shadows and highlights of the blue that you're going to be adding to the water. Okay, so you can come back to those edits later, but what we're going to do first is go into the curves tool function. So there's several ways to do this but the curves tool works best. So what you want to do is tap on the curves tool and you'll be brought up um, a little graph that basically gives you um, the amount of greens in your image, um, the amount of reds in your image and the amount of blues in your image. So RGB um, is basically all of them combined and then you can play with the individual channels to suit a particular color or take out or add more in your picture. Most pictures um, I find will balance this out pretty well. Uh, cameras are quite clever to do that but um, in some cases I kind of want to add a bit more blue to um, the water and to give that effect of the reflection of the sky. So what you want to do is tap on the blue um, curve. So you just want to bring up that little circle there as I've been doing and just tap on the blue and it'll bring up the blue graph so all the parts where the highlights are if I grab the middle and I push it up it's going to start turning everything a bit blue okay we're still not done yet so you want to raise that to the highest it can go and then what I suggest you do is go to the red curve and turn down the red curve and notice how the color of the water changes and the whole picture changes. So don't freak out, this is exactly what we wanted. Um, focus on getting that blue right for your picture. Uh, so I roughly want about here. And I think that's okay for now. And just hit that tick. Okay, now a lot of you might be freaking out and say, what's going on? Well, don't freak out yet. This is just uh, a case of going into your edits, your view edits to review an edit you've made to the photo. So you want to go to the top right hand side of the screen and there's a little arrow with uh, two pieces of paper which is your layers. So you want to tap on there and you want to go to view edits. So tap view edits and the curves tool is there. So you want to tap on that and it will give you the options of either to paint it in to get rid of the effect altogether or go back into the settings to make um, the changes again. But we're going to be using the paint brush. So you want to tap on the paint brush in the box. Right, so your image is back to normal now. Um, and at the bottom of the screen you can see where the up and down arrows, which basically tells you how much of the effect is going to be applied to the photo. So you can actually adjust it higher or lower. And I find I found that blue that was there was too high so I can actually adjust it down to 50 and let's start at 50 and see what that does okay so that's quite a nice even blue and it's not too bright and it's not too um, dark but you can up it to 100 and you'll see that's quite a uh, over exaggerated blue so I literally want to stay at maybe 50% and just paint on the image there there we are. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit for you.
Okay, so once you're happy with the image and how uh, the blue is reflecting off there, you can do the rest of the edits. But I hope that has helped you see how simple it is to actually add in the effect. Okay, so that's all for today, folks. That's my video on how to change a particular color in your image. Uh, I hope you like this. I hope it helps you. If so, let me know below. And if you've got any pictures where you actually use this effect, um, do let me know by hashtagging me or uh, tagging me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, and I'll find you on there. And yeah look forward to the next one by the way the music in this video is made by myself so do show us some love on that soundcloud link in the description below and yeah hope to see you in the next one cheers bye